Action News Now Storm Tracker weather. Coverage you can count on. We're taking a look at that fire. I mean, this week so far, we're really not looking at great conditions when it comes to fire danger, right? No, the good news is, is that the winds aren't very strong. Okay. That's really the saving grace that we do have right now. We're going to be taking a deeper dive into that fire danger forecast for your Friday coming up here in a few minutes. But what we are dealing with today, still very hot out there. The good news as well is that we're finally seeing a drop in temperatures on the way. Not as hot as we head into your Friday, cooling even further as we head into your weekend and in your weekend forecast showers, the chance for thunderstorms on the way and even high elevation snow possible as we head through that upcoming weekend. Getting a look at what we're still seeing out there today. The heat advisory is in effect through 8 p.m. tonight, so we're only a couple hours away from this finally expiring. That's in store for the valley and foothills. That is not going to be in effect for tomorrow. It does not look like there's any reason whatsoever for that to be extended into your forecast on Friday. As far as what we're seeing out there this evening, 99 degrees right now for Chico. There's some thin clouds overhead. That's what's registering right there on the ICAST data. Redding, 97 degrees, winds out of the northwest to around 5 miles an hour. Getting a look at Red Bluff, 98 degrees with sunny skies and southeast winds to 7 miles an hour. And Orville, 101. So we have hit the triple digits this afternoon. Southeast winds there to 9 miles an hour right now. Satellite and radar. Mostly clear skies overhead this afternoon. We are seeing a couple of thin clouds just brushing across our region, but that's about it. High pressure off to our east and off to our west still continuing to leave us with these dry and hot conditions we're seeing out there today. But take a look at this. Here's the game changer on the way. It's in the Gulf of Alaska right now. This low pressure area, it's going to be sliding down closer to our region as we head through your Friday. That's going to result in cooler temperatures on the way, a drop of around 10 degrees in most areas, and we'll see clouds increasing for tomorrow afternoon. By tomorrow night, the chance for a few showers, mainly in higher elevations closest to the Oregon border. And then you take a look at Saturday, showers moving through. They're going to be fairly light out there, and the chance for thunderstorms by Saturday night into Sunday, high elevation snow is possible. We could even see snow levels dipping to as low as 5,000 feet through the end of your weekend and then some showers lingering mostly in the mountains and far northern end of the valley on Sunday before we do dry back out and warm up as we head through next week. So Friday's forecast temperatures mostly in the 80s for the northern mountains, high 70s in Mount Shasta, low to mid 80s for Weaverville, Hayfork and Wairika. We'll be in the low to mid 80s for the Sierra and Cascades tomorrow with mostly sunny skies for your afternoon. Foothill areas expecting to see temperatures up in the low to mid 80s for the afternoon. Forest Ranch, that is a little bit of a typo there. That should say 81 degrees or not typo, but a mistake with the data. We're seeing temperatures in the mid to high 60s overnight in the valley, so still very warm for the start of your Friday and then low 90s for your afternoon. A big drop compared to today. Winds out of the south to 15 miles an hour, gust to 25 miles an hour tomorrow. We'll see mid 60s in the mid valley tonight and then temperatures tomorrow back up into those low 90s. 91 for Chico and Orville, 92 for Orland, 93 for Willows and 90 in Gridley and Marysville. Winds out of the southeast to 15 miles an hour with again gusts, especially late in the day, up to 25 miles an hour. Your storm tracker seven day forecast where your weekends always in view. High 80s to low 90s on Friday in the valley with mostly sunny skies. We'll see mid to high 70s on Saturday with showers and a slight chance for thunderstorms. The best threat of thunderstorms is going to be in the northern zones of the valley and foothills. Not as likely to see active weather on Sunday, but Redding may be seeing some showers on the way. The remainder of the valley looking to stay dry, and then we do dry out and warm up as we head through next week with temperatures back to the high 80s to low 90s by Tuesday and low to mid 90s, Haley, by Wednesday. Thanks, Corey.